Welcome to the online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning. Here is Professor Lakshman Mani. This is a video session on environmental issues like ozone depletion potential, global warming potential due to chlorofluorocarbon refrigerants. In this session, you will be able to explain environmental issues of chlorofluorocarbons such as ozone depletion potential, global warming potential, life cycle climate performance and total equivalent warming impact. You will also be able to explain selection of refrigerant. The more usage of energy resources in industry leads to environmental damages by polluting the atmosphere for example air pollution due to sulfur dioxide nitrous oxide carbon monoxide emissions from boilers and furnaces chlorofluorocarbons emissions from refrigerants toxic gases from chemical and fertilizer industries and particulate matter from cement plants and thermal power plants Effect of refrigerant on global warming is described by using parameters ozone layer depletion and global warming potential. As earth is covered by plant, it is known as greenhouse. It maintains earth temperature and oxygen level, but use of thermal power stations and vehicles releases excess carbon dioxide to the atmosphere which leads to destroy ozone layer and excess heat falling on earth increases temperature. About 30% of the sunlight is scattered back into space by outer atmosphere and the balance 70% of sunlight reaches the earth's surface which reflects it in form of infrared radiation. A thicker blanket of greenhouse gases traps more infrared radiation and thus it increases the earth temperature. This is known as global warming. Chlorofluorocarbons are stable and have long life. When they migrate into the upper atmosphere caused to diffusion of ozone layer, thus taking place this reaction in that formation of chlorine atom take place. This chlorine atom when is reacted with ozone then chlorine oxide and oxygen are formed thus ozone layer depletion is taking place. Emission of chlorofluorocarbons into atmosphere creates global warming because of greenhouse effect that is known as global warming potential. Chlorofluorocarbons used in refrigeration industry have ozone depletion potential. Here are some values of ODP and ZWP of some different refrigerants. Life cycle climate performance that is LCCP. It is a balanced approach to manage the impact of refrigerant equipment on the environment. It is method of evaluation of heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration systems. It is calculated as sum of direct and indirect emissions. Direct emissions include all effects from refrigerant release to atmosphere and indirect emissions include emissions from manufacturing process and disposal of systems. Total Equivalent Warming Impact that is TEWI is sum of direct emissions from chemical and indirect emissions from energy use. It is used to measure the global warming impact of HVAC and R systems. In order to minimize impact of global warming selection of environment friendly refrigerants is done based on following requirements such as 
thermodynamic and thermophysical properties environmental and safety properties and economics refrigerant r134 e which is also called as tetrafluoroethane because of odp0 is used in domestic refrigerators unitary air conditioners uses refrigerant 410 and 407c refrigerant 410a is used as a primary refrigerant in central air conditioning system while chilled water is used as a secondary refrigerant ammonia is used in cold storage ice plant use ammonia as a primary and brine as a secondary refrigerant natural refrigerants such as hydrocarbons that is propane and butane are used in case of large compressors but they are inflammable in nature air because of odp and gwp gwp0 and light in weight is used in aircraft air conditioning systems ammonia is used as a primary refrigerant and water as a secondary refrigerant in vapor absorption air conditioning systems carbon dioxide is used in low temperature applications called as dry ice but it has limitation of critical temperature as 31 degree celsius so at the end of this session you can explain environmental issues of chlorofluorocarbons odp zwp lccp and twi and selection of refrigerant if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you